Hey, hello everyone, welcome back to my computer, it's Christian, and I'm playing around with Fusion Physics again, and I'm doing Geodome. It's gonna be a surface body when we're finished, and I've already done uh, two frequency, looks like this, I put some colors on to make it a bit easier, and if you have a look here, you can see the triangle here, and it's a two frequency, the triangle cut in two parts, four frequency, you can see the triangle again, uh, the same place, just more edges, one, two, three, four, four frequency, Geodome. And where does this triangle come from? Well, that's one of the faces of an archaeosahedron, which you can see here. There's one triangular face, and there are five around this point. If you look here, and triangle, and there's five of those triangles around there. I'm repeating all the way. And we're just going to close down this. It's a bit of where things come from. I'm not a geodome expert in any way. I'm just playing around with geometry because I like it. So, uh, the basic thing when you do the geodome, as I have understood, is that you do the lines from the center out for the, the triangular side of the icosahedron out to the sphere. And in this case, you split the side in four edges and do that. Yeah, that's totally fine. I can do that. That's how I found the dimensions and started playing around. But it's a bit hard to do it up in the hair. So, if you have a look at this, it's much easier to make the triangles down here. So, that's the way I'm going to solve it. I'm going to make the triangles down here and then triangles are here. We're going to use circular patterns and some mirrors and other stuff. So, let's get rid of this to get a clean slate. And we're going to start a sketch. Let's go home so we know where we are. We're going to create it on the bottom plane. First thing you do is circle, construction circle. If you get frustrated with how I do things, I have a specific video for you because this is not a beginner's video, I'm sorry. Uh, this is, uh, well it's not super advanced, but I would work quite fast. I will not tell you how all the things work, so do as good as you can. First circle is the diameter of the sphere that's surrounding, around the geodome. I'm going to make it 3 meters, so that's 3,000. 3, Let's move out so we can see it. That's our sphere. So the outer diameter is going to be 3,000. And the height of the unit is 1.5 meter. Half of this, or 1,500 millimeters, or whatever unit you want to use. And we're going to create create polygon. I do circumscribe. I'm not that specific. And it needs to have a 20 size. And it needs to be not a construction, it needs to be a real line. We're going to make a coincident with any corner out of the circle, like that. I have a new another polygon. Here, let's see if I remember everything. It's going to be a pentagon, so it needs five sides. And that one was supposed to be a construction. It, can, it doesn't matter that much, it's easier to see things. And we're going to do a coincident between a uh, corner and a center point. And I mean, in any of the edges of a 20 sided polygon earlier. And we're going to tell it that this line is going to be vertical like that. And we have sketches open and good. And uh, we have a fully defined sketch. And I'm pleased with that. So we're going to finish sketch. And now it gets a bit strange. We're going to basically start the same way as I did with the tool frequency. We're going to start with a sketch on this plane. We're going to project in uh, this point. Center point of polygon, the base and the corner out here. First, we do a circle, construction circle, from center all the way out to the outer circle. So this is our sphere, so we know where it is. So all the lines we're going to do, all the points we create, going to be touching here out here. And we're going to do one more circle from the base of the pentagon out to here. So it helps us move a line up. So the first line I'm going to do, I'm going to find if I take this pentagon and spin it around its base, where is this point here going to hit up here? Well, it's going to hit up here, line like that. We're going to use that for a mirror later. And we can, do a, we can do a line or we can use constraints immediately. I'm using constraints because it gets a bit too much lines after a while. Horizontal vertical constraints, in this case it's vertical. This point to uh, this, it makes it uh, fully defined. Thank you. And I do one more line. This line here is going to be... This point here is going to be the center of the pentagon we're going to start working with. And that needs to be tangent or coincident value. I prefer to use tangent logs nicely to be circle here. Circle and that. And now we're going to do some lines to help us find things. The first line we're going to do is from here. We're going to make it out of this. We make sure we get the perpendicular constraint here. 
Um, when we're going to find the center point, we can do a line first, but it's much easier. Line from center point, straight out to the circle. We can make a coincident, coincident, and we need to find the center point. And I normally hold down the shift key to find the center point of there and this line. So we create a point at Mechelig and everything is nice. And now we're going to do one more line. It's going to go from here to the earlier made and we make sure we get the perpendicular constraint. And just remind ourselves which lines we're going to use later. This line here, I turn off construction on. And this line here, I turn off the construction on. So we're going to create a pentagon on this here. So we're going to construct a plane here. And this is going to be used later for a mirror plane. So that's everything we need to do on this side here. Yes, it is. Finish sketch. Construct. Plane at the angle. No, I don't want to do that first. I'm going to do that one first, sorry. Plane at the angle. We're going to use this line here and it places it nicely. Uh, so we do not touch the degrees. We take OK. We create sketch. We create it on a new beautiful plane. And we're going to do a projection of our little line we made earlier. It gives us all the dimension. OK. We create polygon. Circumscribe polygon. And as always, it's going to be a pentagon. So five sides. We just put it out here somewhere. We make a coincident between one of the corners pentagon and up here. And by doing that, we have made almost everything we need to start with now. Now we're going to start creating our small, small triangles, which is all we're going to sketch. For now, we're going to need some, it may need to add some small things later, but we just, this is basically all the sketch we need. We go over to surface, create, and we're going to do lofts. We start with I'm going to do one of a triangle double. It's basically the same, just mirror, but I don't want to use mirrors. I'm going to do loft from this line to this point. And I'm going to repeat loft. If you shall let me do that from the base of a pentagon down to this point. Repeat this line here up to that point. So these triangles are the same. We just I just need them because I'll make a circular pattern later. And the last loft we're gonna do is gonna be from this line here up to point. The important thing here is do not point take pick the center point of the pentagon. We pick the point that's touching the circle out here, the, the perimeter of the sphere, like that. We are done those. We're gonna use a circular pattern. Circular pattern. Uh, I prefer bodies so it doesn't get confused. One, two, three, four bodies. Axis, we are only created our axis we need. It's an axis to go through here. And we are playing around the pentagons, of course. It's going to be five times. And now we're going to stitch, stitch all of this together. Makes our life much easier. We're going to do a circular pattern to start off with. I can't spell. Circular pattern. The bodies, once again, this body, axis. We're going to take the center body, or we can just take the edge of a circle out here. And once again, of course, five times. We love five, 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 five the whole time. Uh, we're going to construct plane at the angle. I'm going to use uh, this line here, which I made earlier. I only did two real lines here. So this zero grid, thank you. We're going to use a mirror. And once again, bodies. Uh, this body across this plane. Hit OK, and because we didn't sketch on the plane, the planes are still on, so I'm going to turn it off now to stop seeing that. As you can see, we have basically made a lot of progress here. So, now we're going to create this little triangle down here. Once again, create loft. We're going to start with the base down here, up to that side. We're going to repeat loft from here to here. And we're going to make a loft from here to here. Sometimes here fusing gets mad at me. I don't know why. If I do the edges in the wrong order, it gets a bit picky. You see here, I did a control B to C. So I'm going to back up and see if we can do this again. I don't know why it does that. Uh, I don't like when it does that. So let's see if we can do it in a different order. I'm going to do it in uh, this order instead, and let's see. I'm going to do loft from here to here. I'll do the same things again. Sorry you have to see it twice, but that's the way I am. Like that, and I hit Control b to re recalculate. I get no errors down here. It's like it doesn't like when you pick uh, the edges in a certain order. I don't want uh, 
any errors, control B again to check that it recalculates if nothing is strange, yellow or red warnings or errors. And we will stitch these three together, hit OK. We do a circular pattern. First of all, we're going to move it around a bit. We're going to take this one, select the axis. We're going to choose again the axis that went through this uh, pentagon face up here. So it can be that. We're going to do it five times. And now we do not need all of them. We do not need the one down here. Well, we really need these two, but I'm going to do a secondary circular pattern to get them in the right place. So I'm going to remove these two. And now we go circular pattern again. These two bodies. The X is going to choose is going to be the center and once again five times and we have a lot of bodies. We're going to stitch them all. Choose from here, choose from here in the software any way you want like that. And by doing that and turning off all our sketches. Can you hide? Please, thank you. We have made ourselves a geodesic dome. And uh, now I want to talk about one more thing before, before I leave you with this one. Uh, if you for some reason want to make a sphere, you can't just mirror this because uh, you can see the pentagon here. Here's one of the pentagon. If you can't see it, here's one of the triangles. Here's the second pentagon. There's one pentagon on top. If you just mirror this, the pentagon is just going to mirror and end up down here. And that's wrong because that pentagon is supposed to end up over here or something like that. And what we can do, create a sketch on our here. And we need to find, we do a projection. And we need to find where do we have a pentagon? Where do we have a pentagon? And the point I'm looking for, this way or this way anyway, is the line that goes out here, here, here. I want this corner here. Do that. We do a line from our center point out to the point we just created. Finish sketch. Turn on our sketches again, except the last one. And we do circular pattern. This is just an extra thing to do when I do this. Bodies, that one, this axis, and it's going to be twice. And if we have a look now to another of our sketches, we should have, a, if I done this right now, we have a pentagon here, we have one, two, three, four, and we have a center pack, second pentagon, so we have a triangle here. We turn around, we have a triangle on the other way. Let's, let's take it, I can see it looks. So this is if you want to be the complete sphere, of course you can stitch it together or we can uh, remove that and just play around with this. And we so now from here you can do things like uh, cut away faces, uh, make it a solid, make it a shell, extrude or make pipes along things here. This is just to make the basic geometry with only one. Where are our dimensions? Show dimensions. Yeah, we do only have one dimension. We do not need to put in any other numbers. So, I hope I don't confuse you too much, but this is how I have my workflow to make a four frequency geodome. With that, take care, see you around, and bye.